Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about this. Uh, I'll call it a new game, but it's not necessarily new. Uh, it's a game called Auto Chess. Uh, Auto Chess is basically a game where you uh, pick units and deploy them on a battlefield and they will automatically fight. Uh, it is based off of a Warcraft 3 custom game. Uh, there's a lot of different types of these custom games on Warcraft 3. Dota 2 kind of popularized it with the uh, form of auto chess. And then on Steam, there's now a free one called Dota Underlords. It released, I think, yesterday, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but I've been playing Warcraft 3 custom games on and off since 2003, since pretty much it came out. That also includes five years of original Dota. I did not really make the transition to Dota 2 um, because I didn't really enjoy Dota 2 as much since it wasn't on the Warcraft 3 engine. You know, naturally, if you upgrade a game, you're going to upgrade the engine as well. But it's kind of cool because a lot of the units and items are based around um, are based around the uh, the characters from Dota. So the way it starts is the uh, the first round starts, and you're going to have three neutral rounds. So you can see here on the left hand side, there's a bunch of people that we're playing against. And um, each each uh, unit has basically like um, I don't know I'll call them I'll call them racial bonuses, but they're it's not really just racial. Um, so to use an example right now, uh, I have a clockwork and I have a tinker. So clockwork and tinker are inventor and scrappy, but they don't get a bonus yet. Actually, did it say they get a bonus? Okay, yeah. So they sorry they get the two part inventor bonus, which is all inventors gain fifteen HP regen. Uh, and then a four part would be 40 HP regen. Now you cannot use the exact same unit for stacking a buff, meaning if I have two clockworks, you do not get the benefit of uh, Inventor and Scrappy because it only counts one. Now the way this game works is you have a level on the right hand side. There are 10 levels max. When you hit 10 levels, well max level 10, for every level you get, you can have an, ad ooh, on this is pretty cool. Uh, this says allied inventors explode dealing 20 percent of them this is pretty decent um but basically for every level up you get you get an extra hero that you can deploy on the field um so right now we are going to be look this is actually really sick here we go we are looking for a full inventor squad um i just like playing inventor there i feel like a lot of people don't really play them it's kind of fun um so to talk a little bit more about the game so each unit has one skill, and typically that skill is taken from Dota. So you can see here, this guy has Whirling Death, this guy on the right has Battery Assault, it's Clockwork, this is Tinker, he's got his Heat Seeking Missiles. Uh, and one really nice thing about this game is there's, uh, th there's a lot kind of going on when you play this game, right? So for example, you have Interest. So every 10 levels, or sorry, every, every 10 gold that you have, you gain one Interest at the end of the round. So uh, what that means is right now, since I don't have 10, I could basically buy someone if I want, and then I could sell it back later. Everything has full refund, except for when you upgrade a unit. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't really think I'm playing Demon. Um, I don't really like playing. I'm not used to Druid yet, so I'll probably just go with the Vitality Booster. So to give an item, it's really easy. I just take the item, and I'm going to give it to the Timber Saw. So we'll give it to him. So now if you look here, you'll see that none of these units are really anything I would want for my comp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this guy and I am going to probably purchase two Tuscars. The reason why I'm going to purchase two Tuscars is because if next round comes and I get a Tuscar, then I get a tier two Tuscar or a two star Tuscar. Um, so it's always good to kind of spend your gold if you're not actually going to gain an interest. So now after the three rounds of neutrals, you get your three items and it's time to fight against players. So if you hit tab, oh, I think this guy's AFK because he didn't even send the unit. What? Okay, that, I guess, you know, so shit like that happens sometimes. Uh, but then you fight against the players and then every five rounds, so it'd be round, I think, I don't know if it's round five or round 10 and 15, 20, 25, 30, uh, 35 are neutral rounds. You have bonus gold for being on win streaks, and you have bonus gold for being on losing streaks. So a very common popular strategy right now, well not, not really, but uh, I was going to say to level up, but we're going to get the level up anyway right there. So actually, here's another clockwork, so I can take the clockwork. Lena is a tier 3, she's probably going to be better than pretty much whatever I have, um, but I don't, I don't really know if I want Lena, I might want Morphling instead. Um, so this is a weird instance, right? Because 
Let's do this. Let me buy... Ooh. I'm just going to put a Tuskar down instead. So the reason why I didn't buy Lina is because I would lose my one interest gold. Which I know is kind of stingy, but you never know. You never know when that one gold could carry you pretty far, so... So units gain mana whenever they attack, and units gain mana whenever they receive damage. I think we may have fucked up here. Tiny's like super tank. But we do have the inventor regen. And you can see here the regen is going crazy right now because we actually got scrappy bonus. Right? So I think this guy has the scrappy on him. Oh, the regen's carrying hard. You can actually see... Can I see the healing? DPS damage taken healing. Yeah, so the tanker actually healed a ton of HP. I don't know if this one's going to work out though. Let's see, he's going to get his active saw blade here in a second. Come on, saw blade. Come on, saw blade, baby. Beyblade him. Oh, that's not... I don't think it's enough because this heal's going to come up. So, wait, it is enough. Come on, one more auto, one more auto. Hey, very nice, very nice. So even though I have nine gold, you'll see I get plus one interest. Uh, and that's because I spent the gold after the round started, right? So plus one victory, plus one interest, seven gold total. So now I would not get I would not get another interest until um, until 20 gold. So this is kind of awkward for me. We don't really have anything too important right now. Um, what I think I'm going to do, because a lot of people like to do this as well, you can see... Um, I've got four. I could spend four gold to get an extra unit out on the field. I don't know if I really want to do that. I'm not really sure. This is kind of risky because I didn't really do anything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to snag the two Queens of Pain and a Pudge. Oh, this guy's going to zone. That's okay. He's got the regen again. So the regen, the regen is carrying really hard right now. Especially if he gets his rocket off. Come on, buddy. Get your rocket off. Boom. Perfect. Very good. So I think we have three win streak bonus now, maybe. Yeah. So we and we'll get the bonus for being on a win streak right now as well. You can also look at what other people are doing with tab. But since I'm pretty new, this is like my fifth game, maybe like ten games if you count playing with some friends. Um, I'm kind of just focusing on my own army. You know, as I progress through the game and learn the game more, I'll min max a lot more. Could even I could even grab Drow because it would have synergy. But I don't know. Hmm. This is when you get put in an awkward position. So what I'm probably going to do, you can see like two of these people here did it as well. They basically paid the gold. So by doing this, I can get an extra unit out on the field. I'm not sure exactly what type of unit I would want on the field. Um, this doesn't give synergy. So I'm just going to get extra DPS. So demons are pretty nice because what we did here is... Uh, should I have two, three, four, four? Five, six, I don't think I could have anyway. Uh, demons are nice because demons have unique synergy, where basically all demon units gain 50% pure damage when you have only one type of demon unit. Ooh, I don't think we're winning this one. Let's see. Let's see how good the Queen of Pain carry is. Ooh. I don't know what the fuck that was. What did he just do? Did he shuriken her? I think it was the shuriken toss. There goes our streak, boys. No problem. We just gotta get the... Uh, we gotta get an, a tier 2 unit. A tier 2 unit would make a very big difference. Like, like clockwork here. Clockwork tier 2 would help a lot. You can also re-roll, but I don't really like re-rolling very early on, to be honest. I'd rather I'd rather personally wait before re-rolling. I think I sold the Drow Ranger, which was not really very smart. Uh, Slark is like very, very, very good carry. Um, sell you, sell you... But I don't know if I want to use Slark. See, this is this is when the game kind of comes down to a knowledge game. Uh, I say it comes down to a knowledge game because it's basically like, do you do you drop your bonus here? Oh, I guess I could have replaced Slark with Queen of Pain to be fair. Oh, but I was fighting the dude who doesn't even have an army anyway. So I guess I guess that kind of works, you know. I guess when people go AFK, it kind of buffs you up a little bit. Go cool. put these characters like over here. I don't like this. This guy's on a five win streak. Really, really hoping for a clockwork upgrade. To be honest, I feel like I feel like clockworks are not very good, but I feel like once you get the six piece bonus for inventor, they become 
not clockworks in general, but scrappy units, I guess. But once you get the six-piece bonus, I think they become pretty strong. We're getting pretty unlucky here, though. Not really able to get anything, to be honest. Um, yeah, I guess I will take Slark over Queen of Pain, though. And then... Yeah, there's not really any synergy. I could sell these two Queens of Pain and get 30 gold, but I don't know if I really want to do that right now. You can see he's got a two-star tiny. His two stars. So as long as we can tank the two-star tiny, Slark will be able to carry, I hope. But I don't know if that's going to happen. You can see Slark is getting some buffs here. Come on. Come on, Slark. Come on, Slark. Uh oh, he's got stunned. He's dead. He's, he's done. He tried. He tried. Yeah, Slark was definitely carrying there for a little bit. Alright, buddy. Let's get a T2. Come on. Don't scuff me. So the thing about re-rolling is like, re-rolling is kind of up and down. Because sometimes it's worth it to re-roll, but re-rolling is complete RNG. Usually I say wait to level 7 slash level 8 to start re-rolling. Because that's when you have your much higher chance of getting the, I think it's 5 star. I think 5 star starts at, 5 star starts at 8. Yeah, I think so. Don't mind my cat, he's uh, he's crying a lot. He's a little crybaby right now. So we're gonna take the Timber Saw, but I don't know if it's really worth replacing anyone for, for the Timber Saw. That's the uh, the questionable part here. I, honestly, the, the Tinker is the Tinker is so bad, but if I lose the Scrappy, here, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, but I don't think this is a smart choice. Oh, this is Neutrals. Okay, we're good anyway. We got Neutrals. Neutrals kind of kind of are coming in really clutch right now. If we get a two-star Timber, that would be really good. Where's Slark? He's over here. Okay. Uh-oh. This is bad, actually. I think I'm losing the neutral. You don't ever want to lose the neutral, by the way. It shows that you're a really big noob. But don't tell anyone. Sh losing, losing the neutral, I don't actually think you get bonus goal. I'm pretty sure I'm the only guy who lost the neutral, actually. <laughs> oh, no. Someone else lost. So you lose two choices, which kind of sucks. But I don't think I was going to use these anyway. I don't really ever find a use for Blink Dagger. So I'm going to take the Arcane Boots, which states... When equipped hero has greater than 50 mana, restore 25% mana to all allies. So I'll just put it here. Okay, this is good. We get Tuscar upgrade and Timbersaw upgrade, which is super good. So what I'm going to do in this case now is I'm actually going to sell this Queen of Pain and this Queen of Pain. And I'm going to force a level up. So I can put the Tinker down so we get the Inventor bonus. So I do lose a little bit of income again because I am below 40 now. But I think this is worth it. Got Tier 2 Tusker and Tier 2 Timber Saw. This Tinker is really shit to be honest. Like Tinker's active I think is really good. The Heat Seeking Missile. But the problem with the Heat Seeking Missile is he never gets the mana to generate. And he just died to Shadow Word Pain I think from the Warlock. Holy fuck, that warlock is that warlock is intense actually. I'm pretty sure yeah, this shadow ward literally just like this shadow ward just pretty much carried his whole team. This thing is this thing is actually crazy. Oh, five of six. Oh, I could have had an extra unit out on the field. Oh, I kinda messed up there. Shh. And I never I thought I put this on him. Why do you do this to me, game? What do we have here? It's not really anything that I want in this comp either. Um, I mean, technically, technically the Naga wouldn't be bad because the Naga would enable the Naga or Slardar would enable the scaled bonus, and there is some definite magic resist in that comp that he has. Um, so I could just take Slark and replace this guy, and then we get the magic resist bonus. Uh, Queen of Pain has magic damage. I don't know who else has magic damage from this comp. It's Omni Knight. Yeah, Omni Knight has purification. I think that works. That works pretty well. Um, Marana is a tier 4. Um, 
Um, I don't know if I really want to take Morana though, because she doesn't help. This is kind of spooky. People are mass leveling like crazy right now. So I think the best scenario is for me to stall just one round, uh, because if I stall one round... See, now the other question is, like, is Morana better than the bonus, right? Where she probably is better than the bonus, but it's difficult to tell. Here, I can look at her now, though, because I won't lose the interest. 60 damage. She's pretty good. Oh, Slark is, Slark is dying in the back there. That's not good. This Tinker, yet again, is never going to have mana for anything. Come on, Tinker. Tinker, we need you. Tinker. Tinker, please. This guy is so bad, man. I, I should have just replaced it. Like, his active is really good. But the problem is trying to make him get mana. I might... You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put Tinker all the way up on the front here. Just because he needs to get this mana going. Which means if I do that to him, I may as well give him the Arcane Book so he can just proc it. I think I think that would be good. Okay, so now, now we look at this comp. Um, Kanka would be super good in this comp. Um, honestly, I probably am going to take Kanka over Tinker. Yeah, so I'm going to take Kanka, and I'm going to re-roll one... Mm, I'm not going to re-roll, actually. I'm going to do that, lose the Inventor bonus. Then I'm going to give this to Kanka so he can proc it actively. And I'll put him in the front so he can get the ult off early. So Kanka, what he does is he summons a ghost ship. And the ghost ship is like crazy big CC. But this is an anti-mage. I think anti-mage silences those, so that's kind of spooky. But the second he gets... There we go, come on. Summon the boat, summon the boat. Hey, there's the boat! Boom! MVP boat! Is it enough? I don't think it's enough. Terror, Terror Blade, this guy in the back here, is pretty nuts. If he gets his Metamorphosis off, he uh, he pretty much destroys you as a standalone unit. And then he gets the Demon buff. There's that Queen of Pain who decided to pop up now. Okay, let's see what we can get here. At least we're getting 5 interest, though, so that's really good. Um... So I think now in this instance, it's going to be, I'm going to sell, well, first off, I'm going to go for the level up, okay, and then I'm going to sell Marana, and then I'm going to, uh, kind of want to re-roll, but I think I'll just put Tinker in the front here so I can get the clockwork bonus again. Okay, this is, uh, oh, this is actually weird because this neutral round jumps your back line, but I don't have any of my squishies in the back line. So I like unintentionally countered it, except for the fact that Tinker will still never get to use his goddamn skill. Tinker, please! <laughs> Tinker, you're so useless. <laughs> there is a Crystal Maiden, which gives a mono regen aura. That would be pretty good. There's also a Shadow Fiend here. Shadow Fiend is pretty strong. Um, I don't know who Shadow Fiend would... Like, I could replace Slardar with Shadow Fiend, but then I lose the scaled bonus and... I think the scale bonus is really nice right now. But then again, Shadow Fiend is probably way better than Tinker, to be fair. Um, so I can just snag him now and just wait. Shadow Fiend also gets that single demon bonus, and he's got Requiem of Souls, which is really good. He also has the Warlock Synergy, which gives lifesteal, but I don't think I'm doing lifesteal, because we're probably going to do a regen. Units in shop offered as if you were one level higher. This is pretty good. Vanguard is also really good. Um, I'm just going to go with higher class of criminal even though i think vanguard is really good i just i'm gonna go full unit tech right now and see if we can get lucky okay tide hunter is a gg boy so tide hunter can easily replace slardar tide hunter i'm gonna give him the uh, health item because his job is to stay alive hold on a second here all right let me also we're gonna do one reroll wait can i have set okay one reroll we've got this keeper of the light keeps popping up but uh guess we're just going to stay like this. So Tidehunter, what his ult does is he's basically going to slam the ground uh, and go really, really mad face. And hopefully this mana works for him. Or is he too far? No? I thought someone had the mana item. Hmm. I'm not sure where it is. I think we're, we're going to get completely destroyed by this guy's comp though. Yeah, so I made a mistake there and Tidehunter should have been up in the front. But man, this guy has a summoner comp, I think. This is pretty crazy. He's got bears, he's got trends, he's got the druid healer. Yeah, that was a that was a big loss. Who's this from? Players? That's this guy. Okay, what do we have here? 
Doesn't look like the clockwork synergy is really going all too well at all. Um, put Tidehunter over here. I'm just gonna have to re-roll here. Okay, we got Techies. Techies is actually super good for our comp. The only thing is, who am I gonna replace? I'll drop Slark, put Techies in the front, give the mana item over to you. Reroll one more time. I couldn't get any. Oh, Medusa. So Medusa is actually another really sick one. Medusa has synergy with Tide Hunter. So let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Techies is in the corner here. This kind of sucks. But we do have a good ult going off. Tide Hunter should have an ult coming up here in a second. Techies put the bomb behind him. I'm not really sure why Techies put the bomb behind him. Techies, why do you do this to me? Techies. They gang plants an explosive that detonates after three seconds. Why do they put it behind them, though? Why can't it, like, be in front? I, I don't understand. Maybe what I need to do for techies is I need to, like, pull his, like, pull my whole team back and put techies in the front. That's very weird. So, like, if I put techies here and I move these guys around like this, right, maybe, maybe it'll work better. Also, we are going to have to drop the Tuscar because uh, his synergy doesn't help anymore. So, I, even though he's tier 2, which kind of sucks, but replacing Tuscar... Replacing Tuscar for Medusa, I think, is a much better way to do it. Um, but let's see. We got we to reroll here. Okay, Clockwork upgrade. That's good. Let's check. No one. I'm going to... Oh, Bounty Hunter. Okay, reroll. What do we have here? Uh, not really anyone. I'm going to reroll again. Uh, no one I'm gonna reroll one more time and then I'm gonna this would actually Beastmaster might be okay Might be okay. I don't know. This is the guy with the spooky comp. He's got a three-star Trent actually Okay, techies you're gonna punt the bomb. I think that's okay. No oh, I didn't do like any damage That did like zero damage. Oh my god. His comp is crazy. I don't even know how I'm supposed to kill this, like, at all. This is just, like, giga healing. Even Mini K's crying about it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm selling Walrus Boy. Walrus Boy is gone. I'm gonna take the Timber Saw, re-roll here. Uh, no one here. I'm gonna re-roll again. No one here. Re-roll. Uh, no one here. Re-roll. Okay, Enigma... Enigma is great, but Enigma doesn't really have synergy with my comp, but he's a great unit, but like... Hmm. I mean, Enigma, Enigma Shadow Fiend would give Warlock bonus. Okay, there's the Tidehunter ult. There's the Techies bomb. I don't know how I feel about this Techies bomb. I don't understand why it keeps going placed like backwards. It like really doesn't make any sense to me. I'm, I'm very, very baffled by it. Let's, let's snag the Enigma. Sell the Slark. Yeah, sell the Slark. Sell the Myrmidon. Uh, maybe push for a level up to place Enigma down. Yeah, I think we just push for the level up. And I don't really want to leak, so I'm even going to spend a little bit more gold to place the Enigma down. So Enigma does, uh... He basically has percentage damage drain, um, so that's pretty good. It's just trying to actively, like, properly make use of him. Okay, well, let's see what type of item we get here. This techies is like mega triggering me. I almost wonder if I should move everyone back even more, like another row. Hero is silenced, 10% lifesteal, 40% attack speed. This is not good though. Debuffs last 50% longer on humans. I mean, I'm just gonna take Smuggler. Unless, okay, uh, what do we have here? So we're gonna just re-roll. I'm not liking these odds very much. Ooh, gyro, okay. Tanker upgrade and gyrocopter. So I'm gonna snag the gyrocopter here. I'm gonna sell the shadow fiend. 
So who do I want to replace here? What is my synergy? I already have four inventor, so do I replace Kanka? I don't know if that was smart to replace Kanka. Kanka does have like big CC for us, but Gyrocopter is super good. Okay, here's the Techies bomb. Okay, it did some damage. Gyrocopter has a sick ult if he can land it right here. Gyro died already? Oh my god, what even happened? I guess that's not enough frontline now. I dropped the Kanka and have no more frontline. Okay. Let's put like these guys in the corner here, like this then. Put Timber Saw here, and you over here, and you here, and then you guys up in the front. Definitely really need to get this Scrappy bonus here. This Scrappy bonus is really important. I don't know. Alchemist? Yes. Oh, Alchemist is awesome because Alchemist will give us... Okay, that's what we need. We need to get Alchemist. Doom Marana is another Tinker. Come on, Alchemist. Necrophose. Hmm. I'm going to re-roll again. I know I'm not supposed to be re-rolling right now, but I'm going to keep doing it because I really, really, really need Alchemist. He doesn't want to pop up. Alchemist, why? Well, there goes a lot of our gold. That sucks. Oh, and this is, uh, this is crazy. Uh, this is the guy who's in first place right now. Okay, we killed one Trent. That's good. There's a Tide ult. Now we're gonna get the Gyro ult. Okay, the Gyro ult is down. Enigma still can't ult. I might even need to put the Enigma in the front. You know, Enigma is actually pretty tanky. Well, not like super tanky, but at least we did much better against him than before, right? Uh, yeah, sort of, not really. We're about to die already. Come on, Alchemist. Come on, Alchemist. Okay, Alchemist shows up. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do for here is, let's see, so who, who can I drop from this comp? Tidehunter, Tinker, Gyro, Gyro, Clockwork, Medusa. I mean, how much damage is Medusa doing? Medusa's, I don't, well, I don't really have time to check shit. Upgrade, upgrade max, Alchemist on the field. Did I get it out in time? No, I didn't. Shit. That's really bad. That's bad because I don't- I have an extra unit I think I'm not using yet. Might actually be dead here. No, no, no. I shouldn't be dead. I should still stay alive, but this hurts a lot. Oh, boy! Not looking good, boys. No problem. We're just- we're actually- what we're doing is we're incoming gold off of our losing streak. So who is- this is the last guy needed. Now that gives the inventor bonus. Okay. This is very, uh... Well, let, let's see if this turns the game around right here. Over here, Alchemist on the side. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the Timber Saw, and we really just need to income right now, so that's pretty much about it. Let me look at our bonuses here. Who is- who is Naga from this team? Tidehunter is. Right? Yeah, Tidehunter is. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to pull out the Alchemist is for the 2 Warlock, which is the Lifesteal bonus, and the Scrappy now is 15 armor and 10 HP regen to the whole team. Let's see if Techies can make some use here. Let's go. Come on, Techies. Let's go, Techies. Plant that. Oh, Anti-Mage just literally countered Techies. Well, that's pretty cool. A 2-star. <laughs> a 1-star actually countered my ulti tower, or guy. That really sucks. Well, at least we held him off. This is versus Goldfang. Goldfang's here. So there's one successful repel. Not bad. But if I lose one big one, I'm pretty much dead. This guy's on a seven win streak. I really feel like I kind of got scuffed on my items. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I don't really have anything in terms of items. Um, and I only have like two star, two star, two star. And that's it. Not really sure what happened there. Um, I think maybe the other strategy that I should have done is I shouldn't have leveled up early. I should have just spam rerolled and just tried to maybe upgrade the lower tier units. But I don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell sometimes, in my opinion. It's difficult to know. Just really have to play a lot more. <laughs> a 
Like, th this tech ease is probably the number one thing that's, that's annoying me right now. I don't understand how to position him, because... I guess, I guess to be fair, blink dagger techies is really what you want. You want to be able to have him... That's a good idea, because then he would blink into the team. But the problem is, he would blink in the back, and then his bomb would be here. So I don't even know. I just don't really understand why techies has to be like that. Okay. Um, Blacking bar would be magic immune. That would allow him to get his boom boom off. But I think I'm going to take maelstrom. Maelstrom for chain lightning? I think maelstrom for chain lightning for medusa. Medusa's probably going to be my 10th. Okay, here's the Timber Saw. Who can make use of the Maelstrom right now? I think Gyrocopter can. So that's good. And then I'll take this Clockwork. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that Clockwork, because now I don't get the income. Actually, I think I still get the income if I win. So that's something to think about. Also, this Clockwork should be up in the front. I think Tinker even should be even closer to the front, so he can get the Mana uh, bonus. So this should be good, because there's three here, so hopefully they hit Techies. And Techies gets mana before Kunkka. This would be a great mine right now. Come on. Come on, Techies, show me the mine. Plant it! Plant- And then Gyro ults nothing. I think that's it, boys. We lost. We're done. I tried. I don't- I don't really know exactly what I did there. Like, that was super incorrect. I've actually- this is the worst I've ever done. Of course, it's for the YouTube video. It's got to be the worst I've ever done. But uh, I definitely don't really like the positioning on Clockwork. It doesn't... Or not Clockwork, but Techies. I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do with him. Because he, like, puts the mines backwards. But anyway, um, you know, a very fun game. It's completely free to play right now. You can literally just download it off of Steam. Uh, to give you guys an example of how to do it. You just type in Dota Underworlds or Underlords. And then you just hit play. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys had a, a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Also, Minikay says hello.